Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the construction and working principle of auto transformer. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive, link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic auto transformer, we will see the construction and working principle. So the auto transformer is a special type of transformer having only one winding such that part of the winding is common to primary as well as secondary. Normally in two winding transformer we have primary winding and secondary winding. Two different windings are available. But in auto transformer we have only one winding. The part will be used as primary and part will be used as a secondary winding. So it is working on conduction as well as induction. There is a mutual inductance, mutual inductance principle as well as the conduction principle. Electrical isolation is not necessary, only one winding is available. Power is transferred both inductively as well as conductively. It is based on the inductive and conduction. Now we will see the construction of this auto transformer. A single winding is winded on a laminated magnetic core. So only one winding is available. Single winding used as primary and secondary. The part is used as primary and part will be used as secondary. Part of the winding is common to primary and secondary. Right? Either the entire winding may be used as primary or secondary. The part will be used as either primary or secondary. So the commonly available windings are there. That will be used for both primary and secondary. Voltage can be step up or step down using the auto transformer. The step up and step down is possible in the auto transformer. Normally it is used as a voltage regulator in here while starting the motors. Now we will go to the step down transformer. The step down transformer with that we have only one winding is available. We already discussed in the auto transformer having only one winding. This entire winding is used as a primary. The primary P1 and P2 refers the primary winding. The entire winding is used as a primary winding. Here we have the secondary winding that is part of the winding. The part of the winding used as the secondary S1 and S2. So this portion is commonly used for both primary as well as secondary. So in the step down transformer entire winding used as a primary winding part of the winding used as the secondary winding. It is given as the name A, this, this, this term is A, this portion is C and this one is B. So AB is the primary winding, then BC is the secondary winding, it is given here AB equal to N1 tons, the entire winding is AB, N1 tan that is used as a primary. This BC is the N2 tons, that is as a secondary winding, so N2 is less than N1. The number of turns in secondary is less than the primary winding. So automatically it is a step down transformer. So this is the voltage applied. V1 is the voltage applied to the winding. So the entire voltage is applied to the primary winding. So the part of the voltage only used as a secondary winding. So automatically V2 is less than V1. Now you see the current direction. The current flowing through the primary winding is taken as I1. This is the current entering and current leaving. Here, this I2 is the current flowing through the secondary winding, so load is connected. So at this portion, here the I1 is available. So at this portion, the common portion between primary and secondary, both I1 and I2 is flowing. So the difference in current, I2 minus I1 is flowing through the part of the portion, that is in the part of the portion BC, the current flowing is I2 minus I1. In this portion AC, only I1 is flowing, but here both I1 and I2 is available. So the difference in current I2 minus I1 is flowing in the section BC. So in the step down auto transformer the entire winding is act as primary while part of the winding is common to primary and secondary. So N2 is less than N1 automatically V2 is less than V1. right? So the secondary voltage is lesser so that it is called as a step down transformer. Now we will go to the step up transformer. So in step up auto transformer here also we have only one winding but the entire winding is used as a secondary winding. The earlier step, step down transformer the entire winding used as a primary winding. Now the entire winding is used as secondary winding S1 and S2. Part of the winding used as the primary winding. 
so, so that it is a step of transformer right so this term does it is a b and c so a b the entire winding is n2 tons that is used as a secondary winding the part of the winding bc is common to primary and secondary that is n1 tons so n1 is this n2 is greater than n1 so automatically v2 is greater than v1 so that is a step up transformer right so the entire winding a b used as a secondary winding part of the winding bc used as a primary winding that is common to primary and secondary v1 is the voltage applied to the primary winding v1 v2 is the voltage available across the secondary winding load winding now see the current so this i2 is flowing in the secondary winding i2 the entire i2 is the flowing in the secondary winding so this portion i2 will be flowing in this common portion the current the current flowing in the primary is i1 secondary is i2 primary is i1 so this portion is common so both i1 and i2 is flowing in this portion so the i2 is flowing from downward to upwards i1 is flowing from upward to downward so the difference in current i1 minus i2 is flowing in the common section bc so this bc is common to primary and secondary so the difference in current i1 and i2 is flowing in the common section bc right i1 is flowing in primary i2 is flowing in secondary in the common portion i1 minus i2 is flowing now we'll see the description in step step up auto transformer the entire winding act as a secondary while part of the winding is common to primary and secondary so n2 is greater than n1 automatically v2 is greater than v1 so that is a step up transformer now we'll see the advantages so the copper requirement is lesser in this in this auto transformer only one winding is available so automatically the copper requirement is lesser efficiency is comparatively higher right there is no drop the efficiency will be comparatively higher size and cost is comparatively less because only one winding is available resistant and leakage reactance is comparatively less this all these things are because of only one winding because of only one winding copper requirement is less efficiency is more cost is less resistant and leakage reactance also very less copper loss so copper is lesser so copper loss also automatically lesser voltage regulation is higher than the two winding transformer voltage regulation smooth and continuous variation of the voltage is possible va rating is more right so these are all the advantages some limitations are available the low impedance is there the entire thing the low impedance is there so hence high start short current is high short current for an short circuit on secondary winding right so the low impedance is very low if you go for a short circuit so ac test or short circuit the more amount of short circuit current will flowing through the secondary winding if a part of winding is common to primary and secondary full load primary voltage appear across the secondary right because we have only one winding the part will be common so that the full primary full vol load voltage is applied across the secondary resulting in high voltage on secondary so the danger of accidents so the entire voltage is applied across the secondary winding so there is a possibility of the high voltage will appear across the secondary winding so there is no electrical separation between primary and secondary which is risk of risky in case of high voltage level so there is no isolation only one winding is available so there may be a possibility of high voltage will appear either in primary or secondary side economical only when the voltage ratio is less than 2 we cannot use it for more than 2 so the voltage ratio less than 2 this auto transformer is effective more than that we cannot use for this efficiency will be very less we will see the applications of this auto transformer so it is a starter for safety starting of induction motor and synchronous motor so it is auto transformer we can slowly by adjusting the slowly the voltage is slowly applied to the motor so it is act as a starter right the voltage given to the motor is slowly increased so that speed of the motor also slowly increase so it is act as a starter as a booster to give small boost to the distribution cable to compensate the voltage level voltage drop 
so in the distribution level when the distance increases the voltage will keep on decreases due to the losses so this auto transformer can be used to boost up the voltage so it is act as a booster as a furnace transformer to supply power to the furnace at the required supply voltage for a furnace transformer it is used this auto transformer is used to give the required supply voltage for interconnecting the system which are roughly operating at the same voltage level suppose suppose if the n number of systems are there interconnected mean if the voltage level is different by auto by using the auto transformer we can give the same voltage level for all the system the system having different voltage level mean by using the auto transformer we adjust to the common level we adjust to the one particular value used to vary the voltage to the load smoothly from zero to rated voltage so by using the auto transformer smoothly we can vary the voltage starting from zero to the rated voltage so in this video we discuss about the construction and operation of a auto transformer step up as well as step down then applications limitation and advantages subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive link is given in the description box thank you for listening